everyone. Hope you're all doing well. I miss you guys so much. Um, I hope you had a great Easter and I hope you were able to spend some more time with your family and um, just be together and have fun and find some things that you enjoy doing together. If you listen closely, my dog has decided to get a drink. Right when I decide to shoot the video, so sorry about that. Um, I'll wait till he's done so you can hear me. So this is going to be your reading lesson. I'm going to only put one video out um, for this week. This will be April 14th through 17th. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to do something a little bit different this week. Um, I have a time capsule activity for you and a time capsule is, uh, it's writing down memories you have during this time. And I mean, this is a time that I've never been through um, anything like it. I've never, never experienced anything like it. And someday, um, when you're older, you're probably going to read about, um, this time, the coronavirus time in history books when you're in high school, I imagine. So what I decided is all the second grade teachers put this together and it's called a time capsule. You're going to write down what was going on during this time. And many years down the road, maybe your parents will save this for the year you graduate. You can come back to it and kind of look at what was going on during that time. So this video is for the entire week in reading. Um, and I'm going to go through each page, do it at your own pace. I don't care if you do one page every day, or I guess it wouldn't be every day because you wouldn't have enough time. Two pages a day, if you want to do all 12 pages in one day, then you'll be finished with reading for the week. You decide. So the first page, very easy. It says my 2020 COVID-19 time capsule. Um, you can put your name on it and just color it. Nice and simple. The second page looks like this. It says you're living through history right now. This is history. It's going to go into the history books one day. Um, it says, take a moment to fill in these pages for your future self to look back on. And here are some of the things you can include. And you can kind of, on this page, maybe put a picture of yourself, maybe from, a, from your second grade class picture. You can put it here. Um, maybe you could print out a newspaper email, article, or whatever, and put it here. Just special memories. When you look back um, in the year 2020 and think about this time, it'll be, you'll remember what was going on, what you were like. The next page is kind of fun. It's an all about me page. It says my favorites. So how old you are, how tall you are, how much you weigh, and what your shoe size is. And then you're supposed to list my favorites. It says my favorite toy, color, animal, food, show, movie, book, activity, place, and song. That's kind of fun um, when you graduate from high school to maybe look back and see what were some of your favorites when you were seven to eight years old. And right here it says, my best friend is, and when I grow up, I want to be. So what do you want to be when you grow up? The next one is kind of an emotions page. It says, how am I feeling? So you're supposed to draw your face and words that describe how you feel during this time. Um, what are you most thankful for? Uh, what have I learned most from this experience? And three things I'm most excited about when this time is over. When we can finally leave our houses and get back to normal, what three things do you want to do? The next one says my community, remember from social studies, community is a place where you live. Um, color the house to look like yours. Some of you live in an apartment, you can color it um, like your apartment building. And then it says, what things are you doing to help feel connected and have fun outside? So what are you doing? Are you riding your bike? Are you using sidewalk chalk? You could put down that you're having Zoom meetings with me. That would be kind of fun. Um, the next page says, you're not stuck at home, you're safe at home. Um, and it says, this is a nice uh, web 
uh, it says, what am I doing to keep busy at home? And in each space, you can list the things you're doing uh, to keep busy. One of them is probably going to be I ready. That'll be fun to look back in years now. You'll see if you can remember what I ready is. Um, this is fun. You can trace. It says your handprint. You can go ahead and trace your handprint. Or you can, if mom and dad will let you, you can take your hand and put it in paint and then put your whole handprint on there, um, however you want to do it. Um, you can also put all the other people who are living in your house right now. So for those of you who have babies, like Mackenzie and Liam, um, you could trace their hands or their footprint if you like and put it there. So you remember who was with you during this time. Special occasions. What occasions did you celebrate during this time? So we've officially been um, at home. This is our fifth week. Never did I think on March 13th um, when we were at school for the very last day, never did I think we would be in our homes for five weeks. I mean, it's it's hard. It's, um, you know, I like, I'm a person who likes to be out doing things too. And this is really, really different for me. And I miss you guys so much. And I think that's the hardest part is that oh, the school year is just continuing to go on. And I'm trying the best I can to teach you um, online here. But wow, it's just not the same. And uh, I would have never guessed. But I know some of you have celebrated um, some pretty cool things. You could put Easter on this because we all just celebrated Easter. And I'm sure your Easter was celebration was different than it usually is. I know mine was. Some of you have had birthdays. Um, maybe your parents have had anniversaries. I don't know, but you can list them here. Um, the event, the date, and how you celebrated. I know Jordan had a birthday. Um, my Jordan and, um, you know, usually we all get together and go out to eat, big family dinner and celebrate, come back, have cake and ice cream and open presents and stuff like that. And, this year, she turned 19 and nobody was allowed to come over. It was really sad. So what we did, and this is kind of funny, um, we all went to, we met at Sonic. I think there were, I don't know how many cars of family members. We went through Sonic. We all went through the drive through and then we went to the Meyer parking lot and made a big circle with our cars and we just ate in our cars. And we, um, you know, talked to each other by yelling or um, we FaceTimed each other on our phone so we could see each other and talk to each other. It uh, wasn't the same, but we made the most of it. So tell how you celebrated. The next page, this is difficult for kids to do, but I want you to try it. This is a letter to yourself. So remember, a letter has a date and a greeting. So um, I would say, Dear Mrs. Writer, and then you can write a letter to yourself and tell yourself whatever you want about this time. Um, if I was writing, I'd say how much I miss school and um, how much I miss getting up early in the morning uh, to come and see you guys, how much I miss your smiling faces, how difficult it is. You know, I can't even, um, I have my horse back here. I'm looking at him right now. He's in my backyard. Um, but I can't even go to my second job. Um, all the horses there, remember I have 10 horses there and we closed the barn down uh, and um, I'm not even allowed to go in there. So I have 10 horses over there that I haven't seen for uh, four weeks. It's heart wrenching. Um, so, you know, that's kind of what I would say to myself. Some of these things I'm going through. And then this one, you get to interview your parents. This is kind of fun. Um, you'll ask your parents these questions. What has been the biggest challenge? How are you finding homeschooling? Your parents never thought they'd be teachers, did they? Yeah, the last four weeks they've been teachers. Um, how many days did we spend inside the house? Uh, how are you feeling? Um, mom and dad's top three moments from this experience. Mom and dad's activities that they have enjoyed doing. What are mom and dad most thankful for? What TV shows did you watch? Uh, your newfound favorite inside family activity. My family's been doing a lot of puzzles. I 
realize that Jordan is much better at puzzles than I am. Um, what was your favorite food? Jordan and I have also been baking a lot of chocolate chip cookies and sugar cookies and Rice Krispie treats and double chocolate chip muffins. She loves them. And what was your favorite time of day? And what are your goals for after this? So this is something that you'll ask your parents questions and the answers to their, the questions um, go on this paper. And then this is the last one. I hope some of your parents do this. It says a letter from your parents. So your parents are gonna write you a letter about this time and what was going on and how they felt about it and how they felt about you. Um, so that's the packet. When you finish it, um, I would like you to choose one page, take a picture of it, um, upload it to Seesaw and just share it with me. I don't care what page, um, but then this is yours to hang on to forever. Mom and dad can put it in a safe place and then someday they'll pull it out and you'll think about this time. Okay, so that's your reading for the week. Um, I hope whatever you're doing, you're enjoying. I hope that you're spending some good family time together. Um, please know that I miss you. Please know that I'm uh, so grateful that I've gotten to have you in my classroom and gotten to know you so well. And I'm just waiting for us to be back together. Um, all right, thanks everybody, bye.